Hello everyone, today we are going to design a JK flip flop using Logisim Evolution version 3.7.2 We will follow the JK flip flop table and we will build up on top of that and we see how we can eliminate the race around condition of JK flip flop So let's start To design a flip flop you have to use, um, you can use many gates, many ways you can do that. So I'll use NAND gates. So let's put this NAND gates together. So we have two NAND gates. And for this purpose, we will use three input NAND gates because we have to use three input. We have to get back the uh, uh, input feedback from the output of it. So essentially that would require us to use three input NAND gates. Uh, for the input, we will use some pin or you can use something else if you want but I'll just use a pin here so let's connect this pin to the middle point of the middle pin of the NAND gate and then we have another pin connected to the middle pin of the second NAND gate let's connect them together so we have connected two main NAND gates and then we will create an SR latch sort of styling so we can get the feedback from here so we have another NAND gate here so these two NAND gates are there let's level them level them so we can connect directly and as we progress you can see the timing diagram is also changing because we have two inputs which are uh, i will name them so we have one input named let's j which is the jk flip-flop and then we have another input let's call it k so as you see the timing diagram shows j and k flip-flop is here and we have set both of them to be zero for now we will change this later and then we have the second put connected so we know for SR latch we have to get an output like this and this is the Q output this is the Q dash output so let's name this as we have so let's name the LED. so let's put an LED here so we can see that in the okay. so this LED is going to be Q which is the output and this is the inverted output which is Q naught to make this JK flip flop make sure in Logisim you are connecting from the output towards the input so what do I mean by that is you are connecting from the output side of the whatever the connection you have towards the input side of this gate if you do the otherwise, for example, if I do it from here, then you will see an indeterminate configuration. For example, let's do it from here. And we can see red lines meaning indeterminate. So we don't know what is the case. So even if we connect it here, it won't work properly. So what you have to do is you have to remove this connection and you have to connect it back again. So let's do it and it should work properly now. Even if it's the same connection, same everything, just how I connect it based on that, it essentially changes to indeterminate state so this is a problem of logism because it tries to evaluate and uh, sequentially like one by one and when it finds uh, the value it propagates to from the indeterminate and then all the values from that goes to indeterminate so once you have an indeterminate it cannot recover from there you can reset the simulation from here and stop auto propagating but that won't help like designing faster so just just um, connect from the output to input as a standard procedure of this Logisim tool so that way you don't have to worry about these things small things so we know for a JK flip flop we need to have a clock so let's add a clock here um, we have a clock over here let's add a clock and this clock should be connected to both the input so let's get a clock here and then we add the clock pass so we added this clock we have let's name this clock C so we have a clock here, we have J, K, and then we have our Q and Q not output. So finally, the for the output configuration, we have to connect from this output towards the input again. So one feedback loop and second feedback loop. Now we have completed our JK flip-flop. So if we want to click on this, like clock cycle, as we can see the changes in the clock cycle, we have some changes in the clock cycle. As we can see when we change the clock cycle the output value remains same because at j0 k0 the jk flip-flop should hold the value and it's holding the value which was q01 and q0 so if you want to set q which is if you want to turn on q and turn off q0 on that process you have to set j equals 1 and make k equals 0 even though we changed it, it did not change immediately because we haven't provided any 
rising age of the clock so you do it and then it will remain like this so if you want to hold this value again so we will just make j0 k0 we can just hold this value and then we need to if i want to clear it like if i want to clear k q equals make q equals 0 and q not 1 again so i have to do j equals 0 and k equals 1 provide clock cycles and as you can see it's set to q equals 0 and q not equals 1 so we have this jk flip flop built but it still suffers from the problem of trace around condition when we have both j and k1 and if i try to provide a clock cycle now it will have two candidates 0 and 1 and both of them will be changed as long as we have the rising age of the clock cycle so since we cannot control like how long we have the rising age of the clock cycle by very precise fraction in this logism it will essentially go back to restaurant condition and maybe for some uh, like falling cycle it will work but from rise for rising cycle when we keep repeatedly try to change clock cycle it will switch to indeterminate condition and we'll see there is an error called oscillation uh, oscillation detector or something like that appear in the logism so let's do it so yeah we already see it's the oscillation appearance and where the oscillations are occurring you see with this red circle and it should pause the simulation since it has oscillation it cannot produce the value properly so from to recover from here what you have to do is go to simulate tab and then reset the simulation it will all clear and make it all blue and then you have to again start the simulation enable the simulation or auto propagate by clicking here auto propagate so now we see we see there are some problems so how you can recover from here again just remove these latches like the oh sorry just this part and then this part should have okay so as long uh, as we when we can connect properly it should get proper feedback now let's connect it back all together one by one okay so now we have the jk flip flop working again so let's try and it should be fine we can reset it we can hold the value that we have so as we can see we we are getting these values properly in the circuitry as expected now we want to solve the race around condition then we have to use a concept called leader follower circuit sometimes that's also like tradition it was called slave master circuit master slave circuit but this is not used anymore we should use leader follower or some similar other more uh, appropriate concept name so let's do it so for that for that first get rid of these leds because we will have to add them later get rid of this feedback part and then let's get rid of this feedback part altogether okay i don't think we need this right now let's get rid of this this also let's keep this as it is so what you have to do is you have to create a copy of this same jk flip-flop which will be a follower and control C copy control V paste uh, and then drag it right here and that should mostly be it so now you just have to connect it as you were doing for the previous one and the clock cycle for this uh, leader of follower should be the invert clock cycle of the original one so for example if you have a clock cycle here you can add a not gate and then add it to the other part so this this should get the clock cycle which is the inverted of C so again connect your um, inputs so we have connected the inputs again make sure that there is no issues with the feedback loop indeterminate condition okay we got back our indeterminate result indeterminate condition then we need to connect back to our feedback loop from the output of the follower and I think we are almost there done so now let's add back the LEDs this is Q this is not Q so we have these two part in the circuit first part the JK flip flop first part is the leader part and then we have the follower or you can call it like leader follower either way that should be fine 
the first one has a clock supply the second one has a, also has a clock supply but that is inverted of the first one's clock so whenever you we press the buttons now clock then either one of these circuits will be activated so as you can see this one is activated in this cycle this one is activated in the other cycle so since we have one to set we have to use j equals 1 k equals 0 at clock cycle q becomes 1 if you want to see uh, q not because becomes 1 then k equals 1 and then j equals 0 at clock cycles Q becomes 0, Q0 becomes 1. If you want to hold this value, J0, K0, change clock cycle. And as you can see, we have some change behavior here. And if you want to keep toggling, like let's see if we have solved the race condition, may, we need to make sure J equals 1, K equals 1. And then if we put clock cycle, like if we uh, add new clock cycles, then K, uh, Q and Q0 will keep toggling. So for example, one clock cycle we have q0 equals 0 q0 equals 1 q equals 0 next clock cycle q equals 1 q0 equals 0 and it will keep toggling so it we will not have any more race conditions the circuit will work as a proper jk flow so we can use this sort of circuit uh, implemented where we do not need any uh, where, where we do not need to face any sort of race around condition so this is the timing diagram and this is the circuit that we have for the leader follower JK flip flop. Thank you everyone.